Brad Snow 95. So I saw the photos you posted of your navy suit for your upcoming job interview and I had a couple of notes. So first and foremost, I noticed that the armholes of your jacket are cut quite large. So think of it like a circle. You cut out a circle, right? How are you gonna make that circle smaller when you've already cut it? It's pretty impossible. Once you have a giant void, it's near impossible to fill it in to make it smaller. And so that's how I kind of equate it with suit jackets. Once the armhole is cut too large, there's no going back. But we'll just say for this situation that, you know, maybe your budget's limited, we gotta go with this suit. So here's what I would do to make it at least the best fitting, the best looking possible suit we can, we can do. So looking at the shoulders, now the shoulders and the waist are too large. So the shoulders are actually sitting past your own natural shoulders and the waist, there's a bit too much fabric in it. But that's fine because when a tailor goes in anyways to take in the waist and the shoulders, they actually open up the same seams anyways. There's three seams in the back of your jacket. And so they'll just take that in and they'll move your shoulders back so that it's now gonna be sitting along the natural curve of your own shoulder and then the waist will be lightly hugging your own natural waist. So there's that and then moving on to your jacket sleeves. So with jacket sleeves, you always want that to end a quarter of an inch above the bend of your wrist. And the reason being is because it'll allow the right amount of shirt sleeve to be exposed. That's, it's all about details in menswear, so you want that. And just finishing off with the jacket, I'm noticing that the length of the jacket is slightly too long. So what I would do is actually have your tailor hem the length of the jacket about one inch. That should make it look proportional to for your upper half of your body to your lower half of your body. It'll look great. Now, moving on to your pants. So everything about your pants, it, it, it seems like it fits in the waist. I would say definitely slim the legs. The legs are too baggy, you want slimmer legs, you're a young guy, you're trim, you shouldn't be wearing baggy clothes. So trim the legs, have your tailor just slim them, and then make sure to have him hem, him or her, hem your pants so that there is only a slight break instead of the very generous full break that it is right now. That should help solve the problem, most of the problems with the suit. Now, with the shirt, great job on the spread of the collar. It looks really great on you. I would say though with the tie, if we're gonna keep that color or relatively in that range of color, you definitely want a slimmer tie. The tie right now is way too wide on you, especially again, it's all about proportions. So it's too wide because you're a trimmer guy, the suit's gonna be fitting you know, nicely tailored. You don't want this wide, massive wide tie. So get a slimmer tie and make sure to tie the knot so that it's tighter. You wanna tighten that knot up. It's way too loose and bulky right now. So just tie it so that it's tighter, the knot. And then the length of the tie, make sure that the two corners of at the end of the tie, it should hit the top of the belt. So that's the proper length of a tie. And nice job with the tie bar. Love the tie bar. I would just scooch it up closer to your neck about one inch and it should be the perfect length. Now let's just end this all though with your shoes. So your shoes, slip-ons, never wear slip-ons to a job interview especially, but period, really, I just, you, what you want to do is wear either black or dark brown, lace up, leather, classic Oxford dress shoes. Those are gonna look the greatest, especially for the suit and for the job interview. Just make sure you match your belt with the color of your dress shoe. Now, with the job interviews, you never wanna just go in you know, with a baggy suit, you wanna make sure you're putting your best foot forward because people judge you based on how you look. So a nice, well-tailored, sharp suit where you look like you're in control, where people feel like they can trust you because you look immaculate is going to be, you know, you can easily achieve this with all of these alterations and just these little finishing details. Make sure though, don't forget the pocket square. A nice white crisp square pocket square will just round out the whole outfit and make you look very sharp for this interview. So now 
second part of this, I want to say, if you're able to return this, I would definitely take a look at Zara or Suit Supply or Top Man for a suit because they are going to have a navy suit with higher armholes and it's going to look a million times better on you. Just it's gonna look fantastic. It's gonna look like it was made for you. Just make sure that the shoulders of the jacket, they follow the, the your own curve of your own shoulder and that the waist lightly hugs your own waist. The length should be about you know mid crotch, I would say. And that's where it should end. And then the sleeve length, always a quarter of an inch above the bend of your wrist. That's where it should end because it's the right amount of shirt cuff to be shown. And then the pants will be nice and slim, nice little, you know, slight break in, in the hem and beautiful classic Oxfords, whether they be black or dark brown, or it's going to be great. So just don't forget tie bar a little bit up, pocket square. You're going to look fantastic. Good luck with your job interview. Skinnier tie. If you are gonna get a skinnier tie, I would actually probably go with the light blue. It's gonna look great. A light blue, white shirt, navy suit. You're gonna look fantastic for this job interview. So anyways, but thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be putting out a ton more of these videos, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my site. <laughs> Thanks.